Chris Pinnell will return for his 15th game on Jeopardy. He won a 14-day total of $487,923 after winning his biggest single-day win yet. Obligatory thumbs up. <laughs> Ken Jennings' instruction, instruction was, was, Welcome everyone to Jeopardy and what a week it has been for our champion Chris Panulo. He has amassed over $131,000 in his last three days alone. He reached a personal best for one-day winners in yesterday's game, and he's now in seventh place on the Jeopardy leaderboard of legends all-time for money won in regular season play. Yesterday's win vaulted him ahead of great champions like Julia Collins and David Madden. That's so weird hearing Ken say David Madden's name. He never said it when Amy Schneider or Matteo Roche were breaking their records. He was the second ultra champion after all. Both were also the only two double-digit winners in the history of Jeopardy until Arthur Chu came along eight and a half years later. So Chris is quickly rising through the ranks of our spectacular super champions. But you never know when a streak is set to suddenly see. And that's what Sam and Holly should be telling themselves today. Chris got the daily immediately at the start of the game. He wagered 1,000 and went to 1,000. <laughs> Home of Alex Trebek's beloved CFL Hamilton Tiger Cats, the field name for this donut company hosted a 2022 NHL outdoor game. Chris answered, who is Tim Horton? I love all these Alex Trebek questions. I love Sam's anecdote. You, like many of us, watched Jeopardy as a kid. What was your viewing ritual like? She answered, so I actually kind of took advantage of the fact that we had two Jeopardy affiliate stations in our area, one that would play at 5.30 and 7.30 and would use it to my advantage. Once when I was about 8, I'd watch the 5.30 episode alone and was going over to my grandparents to be babysat by them for the evening, or I subsequently watched the 7.30 episode and just aced all the questions. <laughs> so when my parents came to pick me up, my grandmother was just a Twitter at the door and she goes, she's so smart, you guys should consider having her skip a grade. And my dad just looks at her deadpan and goes, she watched the earlier one at home, she doesn't actually know the answer. <laughs> Ken, Sam, and the audience laughed. Nowadays, anyone can do that because there are episodes uploaded on YouTube. <laughs> you can take me out to the ball game anytime at Miller Park at this university in Provo, Utah. The answer was BYU, which was the answer to the first daily double in the first night of the tournament of champions. Chris started the first round winning $7,400. Sam was in second place at $2,800. And Holly was in third place at $2,000. William Makepeace Macquarie not only wrote this novel, but illustrated it when it was serialized in the 1840s. After Holly answered, what's Barry Fair? She said, uh, two words for 12, sorry, 2000. I've never seen that before. That was confused. <laughs> Maybe she thought she wanted to uh, answer the 1200 question in her head. Or, yeah, maybe she just like meant to say one thing and another thing ended up coming out. Holly had twice Sam's score when she got the first daily double in double jeopardy. She made her true daily double to quadruple Sam's score. Unfortunately, answered wrong. I went down to zero <laughs> in 2014. Arby's launched this slogan, another bizarre moment that I can't avoid. I feel bad for Sam for not getting the plural. She buzzed and answered, what is we have to meet? Then as Ken accepted her answer, he said, no, that's not correct. <laughs> then Holly buzzed and answered, what is we have to meet? Yeah, oftentimes I say I feel bad for this contestant for not getting it exactly. I feel worse for Sam just because Ken did initially accept her answer. This signature tune of the Duke Ellington Orchestra advises listeners to take a particular subway line. Holly buzzed and answered, The A-Train, let's take the A-Train. <laughs> he got both daily doubles. Chris got the second daily double in the Liberty, wagered 3000 got it right, and went to $25,600. This is the most time I've ever seen anyone uh, given to... This is the most time I've ever seen given to anyone on Jeopardy. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> Surprised he didn't run out of time. Holly had a double jeopardy winning $3,600. Sam was in second place at $5,200, and Chris was in the lead at $26,400. The final jeopardy category was states and the census. The question was, the 2020 census gave Montana a second U.S. house seat. Its most populous county, this one attracts tourists, grew 11%. Regionally, Yellowstone is the only one that makes sense. The answer was Yellowstone. Yes, where part of the park is located. Chris waited $12,221 and took his final score to $38,621. He's now at a 15-day total of $526,544. A win tomorrow will put him in ninth place with Ryan Long for most Jeopardy wins. Can he do it tomorrow? And as always, thank you for watching.